Porzingis gets it into Porzingis from three. It's good! It's good! Kristaps Porzingis wins it for the X. Looked like it was good, but they're going to take a look. No good. Wow. Last week's game will have no bearing on tomorrow night's game. Uh, having a 10-point lead going to the fourth, uh, having a shot at the end to, to win it, I think you know uh, we, we let that game get away from us. So hopefully we won't be able to do that this time. This will be finally my second time playing against the same team. So, um, you know, we, we know what they do. They know what we do best. And, uh, you know, both teams are going to try to do their best to stop each other. But um, we want to get the, the re revenge. You know, we lost there, so we want to get a home win. In similar fashion as the first matchup in Charlotte, the Knicks and Hornets went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the rematch. Nine times the game was tied and we saw four lead changes through three quarters as the Knicks relied on their rising rookie star. Here's Porzingis hitting a three. It's my second time playing in Charlotte, so you know, knowing you know, where, where can we get shots and you know, their offense and definitely help. He's doing a lot of things for us, and defense and, and offense, uh, offense rebounds. Today he got a big night shooting the ball and uh, making shots. Because of the combination of skills and abilities, I mean, at some point, you know, it's going to all come together. And for the rebound, it's Porzingis, it's good, and the foul! When the fans cheer like that, it was amazing. It's always important to win at home, you know, the, the fans love the game and it was important for us. Now going on the road, uh, we'll, have, we'll have, have to play against great teams, so we got to be ready for that, especially on the road, it'll be tough, but you know, that's, that's a challenge for us and we want to we wanna keep the streak going. To see how we respond, uh, you know, to being on the road, you know, four games, it's, you know, it's a big road trip for us. Without Kevin, Russell is the focal point. He's the head of the snake either way, but now he's even more prominent. Russ is another guy on that team who can take over the game. And, but they always have a you know, good core group of guys out there playing. They play together for a long time. They know how to win games. Uh, so we, we got to be cautious of that and you know, realize what we're going up against. Who will you start on Westbrook tonight? Uh, Robin, Chris Depps, Carmelo, Jose, and Aaron. One guy can't guard him, so there's no sense getting fixated on which guy is going to stop Russell Westbrook. It's, that's not what this is about tonight. Uh, it's about the New York Knicks trying to figure out a way to win. And regardless of his individual stats, you know, we just need to figure out how to win the game. Thunder 7-5 and five overall. Westbrook to the basket blocked by Lopez. We knew he was going. You know, we, we was going for it. Uh, no KD out there. We knew he was going to try to put the team on his back. and So we, we, we did the best we could on him tonight. It was definitely good to get off to a good start in each half. I think we were enforcing shots. I think guys were confident in their shots and just taking the, the shots they have to take. On the road. Uh, you know, you, you got to play defense, you got to get stops, uh, you got to make shots. I thought our bench in the second half also came out and extended the lead even more, and that was really helpful uh, to have that spread going down the stretch. This game is over. I mean, this wasn't a pretty win for us in the end, but it's a win, you know, towards our, uh, our record. But we got to continue to have a killer mindset and make it happen. You always want to start the road trip off with a win. The more confidence we can build with positivities coming off wins. Uh, the better. So you know, tomorrow is just as important. So we'll, we'll need to refocus immediately and uh, look forward to that. There's a definite improvement in talent. Uh, you add a Flalo, you add Lopez. Obviously, uh, Carmelo's back and healthy. Uh, Jose Calderon's playing well, and then the, you know their draft pick is you know a talented player. So I think there's definitely an upgrade in talent. Uh, I think they're. Uh, have a better idea, a better grasp of what they're doing uh, with the triangle. The ball seems to be moving a lot better. Uh, guys are in their spots a lot quicker. Um, so it seems like they definitely had a better grasp of what they're doing. The Knicks and Rockets exchanged big buckets in H-Town, especially from the three-point line where both teams launched a combined 53 attempts. Once again, KP6 came to the rescue on both sides of the floor in a truly dominating performance. He looked really, really comfortable and confident right from the start. He was the one guy in the first quarter, first half that had the offensive energy. A guy like Harden, you know, I was really, you know, just just making sure he, he does, when he gets to the basket, I'm vertical and I'm going up there so I can, you know, uh, bother his shots. Uh, and that's, that's what I try to do. The way he played, the way he covered the basket down the stretch, uh, and then other guys you know, out there. Aaron, you know, started getting his legs back. Lance you know, on the defensive end. You know, Jose, you know, stepped up. So, it, you know, it was a total team effort tonight. Everybody's bought into trusting each other, and, you know, those things tend to come out in, in close games. I think we're just kind of scratching the surface right now of what we can be um, and where we're trying to go. This is the first 
win in Houston for the Knicks in 11 years. And it took a youngster to lead them to the victory.